Hey everyone, I am Amy Brooks. This is The Intuitive Rising. I am a evidential psychic medium and an intuitive mentor. I'm also a podcast host. I co-host a spiritual-based podcast with my dear friend and fellow medium, um, Aaron, and our podcast is called Soul Rising. I am also a published author in which I share the story of living with anxiety and my experiences with baby loss and parent loss. So if you want to find out more information about me and kind of what I do, there are some other videos here uh, in which you can find more information about that. But today I wanted to come on and I wanted to talk about this common myth that I hear. So one of my passions is in myth busting um, around spiritual um topics around spirituality. There's a lot of stuff out there that is a misconception. Okay. And what those misconceptions do is actually keep spirituality um, as one of those kind of other topics, you know, like something like that's separate from you. But we all are intuitive beings. We all have an intuition. We all have a spiritual side. Um, and so I feel like, especially in this day and age and how we are evolving and growing, um, societally, but also individually that the need to reconnect to the spiritual parts of ourselves is more important than ever. Uh, and so my personal mission is in making spirituality more inclusive, less other and more, um, understandable like by breaking down those myths. So I do a lot of um, events online and things like that in which you can kind of see me in action and I break down my process so you can see how it works. So you can see that it's just not, not so other. It's just another layer of perception, another layer of sensitivity. So the most, one of the most common things I hear is, question I receive and see online is, can you read people's minds can you tap into like it is mind reading a thing you know are you always connected can you always if I'm like hanging out with you do you know what I'm thinking no (laughs) I cannot nor what I want to no thank you um I do not do that and I also don't think that that's really the proper way to utilize this kind of sensitivity So I would question anybody if they said that they could like read everything about you and your thoughts um, without you giving permission to them. I would, I I might question that a little bit. That's not to say that as a medium, um, I don't kind of pick up on things. I certainly do, but I believe it's through the lens of like, to help me personally. Like, so if, um, you know, say I was like interviewing a job or going to meet a new person, um, like a relationship or something like that. Um, I might get kind of like my spidey senses might go off and I might get a feeling of this isn't the right person for you, or this isn't the right job for you. This isn't the right environment for you. Certainly I can pick up on things like that. And, and maybe even I would pick up on why it might not be the right person for me or or why it might not be the right job for me based on like the dynam- dynamic between me and this other person or experience, like why it wouldn't work out. But that's through the lens of me personally and how it affects me. It's not me just like dropping in and eavesdropping on somebody else's stream of consciousness right? Um, whenever I tap in, when I'm say I'm doing an intuitive guidance reading, which, it, which others might call a psychic based reading. I don't call it that simply because I'm not just a predictive reader. I certainly do bring forward predictive type information. However, I always back it up with some guidance of like, well, how, how does that happen? How do I make that happen? Right? Um, so it's a little bit more than your average psychic reading. Um, when I'm doing a client reading like that and, you know, somebody might ask, okay, well, like there's this guy I'm seeing, um, what comes through about him? I'm always very careful to say, if I am tapping into somebody else's energy that hasn't given permission for me to do so, then the information that comes through is through the lens of your higher self. It's kind of like what you already know about that other person. Maybe even if it's like, 
con not conscious information. Um, so it's through the lens of what you already know, rather than like me tapping into some random person's energy that has not given permission for me to do so. I'm very careful about that. Um, because I don't think that that is really ethical to do so we have, you know, we, we have we should be able to maintain our privacy in life. So, you know, I don't think that we should all be reading each other's minds and I don't think that we can or should. Um, so yeah, that's to explain that a little bit. Um, you know, I'm sure we've seen, you, you've seen different shows in which a medium or a psychic is kind of just like reading random, random people at a restaurant or at a grocery store. That to me, I feel is, um, probably something they do for the show, like to make the show, to, to give it a scene, you know, so there's some material there. I don't really believe that any reputable medium or psychic would randomly go up to people and say, this is what I feel like is happening with you, or I feel like your grandmother is here with me or whatever it is like that, because I truly believe that this work is based on intention. It's not to say that you might not get a sense that somebody's loved one is with you, um, but it's not really in my opinion, it's not really your right to share that information if they don't ask for it. Because you never know where somebody is in their life. You never know how they feel about that situation. You don't know if they are like deep in the throes of grief and that you are actually going to destroy them today by giving them that information. So, you know, if I ever kind of pick up on somebody's loved one per se, um, and they haven't, you know, like sought me out and booked a reading. It's just a random thing. I always mentally um, say to that spirit person, you make this connection happen, right? You make that connection happen between us. You organize this in some way, and I will absolutely give your messages, but I'm not doing it without permission. So can people read, can, can mediums, can psychics read everybody's mind? No, I don't think so. Um, and I don't think that we should. You are completely, um, you know, your privacy, at least with me, your privacy is maintained. I will never tap into anybody's energy, um, anybody's thoughts without permission. Hope that helps. Have a good day.